Welcome back to Mega Man X, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we took down Flame Mammoth and launched Octopus. Six down, two to go. Next up, Boomer Kawanger. For those who don't know exactly what Boomer Kawanger is supposed to be, I did some research, and he's supposed to be a beetle. But given the look of his hideout, you'd think he'd be a roach, because this place is filthy. Almost like it's a, pardon the pun, Roach Motel. Back off! As you can see, his defenses are pretty fortified. He's got wall cannons, and he's got these uh, Sniper Joe looking things. Which can pretty much take you out of the sky if you're not looking. And on top of that, he's got himself a fancy security system. Of course, being us, we can easily bypass this. Just jump on every Gatu. And slide to avoid getting shot. Coming up here, pull out your storm tornado, and rip through the turtles. Ah! Took a hit there. But I love this thing! And now, let's hop over the elevator and do this diehard style. Move left to right, watch out for the spikes. And keep your eyes open for enemies. Because you do not want to get caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, look at me go! That was probably my best performance on this elevator ride of all time. Look at that, we're already at the top. Let's go outside and breathe in the fresh air. And shoot some enemies while we're at it. These enemies aren't too much trouble, but they're just more of a nuisance. Just keep on going. Ah! Jerk. The cannons are more of a nuisance than anything. Those guys on the ladder, those geckos or whatever, they're just there to annoy. Ah. Lost my footing there for a sec. Damn it! And of course, Gecko comes back. Arrgh! How dare you dodge the bullet! Alright, here we are. Inside again. Before we go up, we're gonna have to get that heart tank. So we're gonna pull out the shock and ice. Freeze the platform. And ride it to victory! Damn it! I missed my jump! Arrgh! Cocksucker! All right, let's try this again. Damn it, I missed my jump! Mm. God. I swear to God, this is like Special Olympics for video games. By the way, if anyone took offense to that, I'm not prejudiced. I just said that in the heat of the moment, and I apologize. Let's continue our way up. You gotta hand it to Boomer Quanger. He's got a pretty good security system set up. Cannons. Security traps, motion detectors, everything. But it's not enough to stop us. After all, we are. Fuck you! We are the Almighty X, the greatest creation of Dr. Light. Haha! <laughs> Come hop on up. And here we are Boomer Kawanger's hideout. Say your prayers, you disgusting bug. Because it's squashing time! Pretty fast! Alright, start firing your homing torpedoes because you do not want to give them an inch. Jump to the other side if you have to. And watch out if he throws his horns because it'll circle around just like a boomerang. Ah! Lucky hit! And you're toast! Fuck you! If I had to be my own worst critic, I'd say that was one of my better performances. Oh yeah! And for our troubles, a useful weapon. Boomerang Cutter. It does have a little bit of short range, but... It doesn't take up too much ammunition, and it can double as an item retriever. 
with Boomer Kawanger out of the way, I'm going to cut here, as always, and I'll meet you back at the Enemy Select Screen. Hang in there, folks. Jeremy Prouty and Channel 84 Winnipeg will be right back after these commercial messages. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Seven Mavericks defeated, one more to go. Let's go kick Sting Chameleon's ass. So as you can see, Sting Chameleon is hiding out in what looks to be a robot forest. And those little bitch mats are hiding out in the water disguised as patches of grass. Ah! Up yours, lumber jerk! I remember you guys from Chill Penguin Stage. I hated you then, and I still hate you now. Over here, we're gonna take a dash, jump up here, and climb the wall. Pull out your boomerang cutter, because we got a mini boss to fight. This thing! It kind of looks like Otto from the Mega Man 7 game. If you don't remember Otto, he's the robot that built you all your gadgets. Is that all you're gonna do? This will be a lot easier than I thought then. Come on! Put some effort into it! Oh, you suck, man! Thank you very much! And our fourth and final capsule. Hey, Dr. Light. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Oh yeah, this is what we've been waiting for, folks. Our fourth and final upgrade. Look at me all spiffy. To quote He-Man, I have the power! <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. Before we proceed, let's head down this hall. Kick out these blocks. Reason? We're gonna need all the launch space we can. Because if we dash and jump, we get a heart tank. Number seven. And with that collected, let's be on our merry- In these caves, these rockers will fall from the ceiling and start tossing rocks at you themselves. If you have the X-Buster upgrade, one fully charged shot will dispose of them. And if you don't kill it on the first shot, keep firing because you do not want to get hit. If you can <clears throat> keep from taking any excessive damage, definitely make sure you guard yourself. All right, back outside. Ah, little pecker. And no, I'm not being ironic. That is quite literally a, a woodpecker. Thought you could get jump me, huh? I don't think so. Same with you. Ooh, free man for our troubles. All right, just a little bit. Yes, it is the return of the red robot. Out of my way. Or I will crush you. Gotcha. Don't disappear. Ah, I want that. I want that too. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> Kneel before the almighty red robot. But for now, we got more important things to take care of. Let's get our boomerang cutter ready, because it's time to kick Stink Chameleon's ass. Once and for all! Let's see if I can do this flawlessly, because there's a pattern you can lock him into, and if you do that, this will make things a lot easier. Alright! Let's do it! chain's going so far, but I took a hit, so this is not what you would call a flawless victory.
still a pretty good performance if I do say so myself. It is possible to be without any weapons or armor, but it is very difficult. And now for our final weapon, the Chameleon Sting. Pretty good weapon. It has a very wide range, and it's got a fairly fast rate of fire. Not to mention the projectiles move pretty fast too. So, I guess with that done, we're going to keep on trucking, and I guess at this point, we're going to finally make our way to Sigma's Fortress. Finally, we've reached Sigma's Fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Well, you heard him, folks. Let's get it done. And there he is, Big Ugly himself, Sigma. And in the next episode... We're going to begin with a little item collection because we have two items that we still need to get before storming his fortress. And then, it's go time. Until then, this is Jeremy saying, peace out!